Hi guys, it's Allison Allison and I'm here to give you some information on blood circulation. Um, it's something I wanted to talk to you about um, probably last year, never really got to it. So I think it's time to talk about circulation because circulation is extremely important as you can imagine, <laughs> okay? So um, let me give you some information about me and what types of issues I've had with circulation. First off, circulation <laughs> is a problem that I probably inherited from my mother. My mother um, has the same issues as me, extremely cold um, extremities. My hands, my feet, my nose is extremely cold and usually even in the summertime, you can look at my hands and feet and see very clearly that the blood is not circulating properly. Now, how can you tell? Pray tell. <laughs> it's because you can see um, that my hands would be an extreme pasty, pasty, pasty white. Um, I know I'm a brown girl. <laughs> But there would be this, um, my, my white portion <laughs> would be extremely, extremely white. It would be so white that you would see no hint of red in my hands, in my feet. Well, you can't tell with my nose, so I wouldn't, you know, put that in there. But I want you to notice something. Look at my hands. Can you see a reddish tint in my hands? I want you to understand something. This is new for me, okay? Only since I've been taking the earth, okay? My hands were so white. So white that you could just tell there was little to no blood. Obviously there was blood going through there, but not the way it should be going in there. So, I want you to take a look and see the pinkness. You see the pinkness? Allison had no pinkness, okay? Allison was pasty, 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 sick looking white. All up in her hands, all up in her feet, okay? So, I know that my blood is circulating. The other thing that, was, that began um, accelerating as I got older. I think I mentioned to you before that I had this spot here in this left shoulder, um, right up in the muscle where I would collect um, my stress. You know, there's, there's certain points in your body that, you know, you might collect stress and a lot of times they are in the back. Um, and I had this spot that was like a knot um, and it grew over the years in this particular area and it got to the point when I would sleep I sleep on my back most times look I'm going back <laughs> I sleep on my back most times and what would happen is you know you're sleeping you roll you do this or whatever I got to the point where I couldn't bend my arms because if I had my arms bent um, for uh, an extended period of time it would really start to hurt because the blood was not circulating. So I got to the point where Allison would lay on her bed like flat with my arms like out, you know, in both directions so as to encourage the blood to flow. Now, isn't that ridiculous? Well, since I've been taking the earth, as you know, since September 4th of 2013, um, within the first couple of months, I noticed that I no longer had to do that. Um, and it has continued. As you know, we're in January of 2015, and I don't have that issue, nor do I have the knot that occurred here. And as I showed you before, I got the blood <laughs> running through my veins properly. So, um, does it affect circulation? Absolutely. Enjoy your week.